morning. <laughs> Yummy. Good morning. We just had our avocado toast and bacon. It was so good. I just realized I haven't had avocado toast like since before Curacao, I don't think. Because then I was home for a day and I didn't have any avocados. So I really missed it. It's our, our classic. And now going to practice and I'm going to go to the gym while he's at practice and then I think we're realizing that today is the day for Hamilton. We're going all the way to New York just because of Hamilton. No, we're also going to be there because we'll be able to see Chasey. It'll be good yeah. to go and give us like something to do. Um, and like I was saying in yesterday's vlog, I wish that we had like Like you didn't have practice this morning, so we could have gone for like a like a night and stayed like a day and a half or something. But it's okay. We'll just be there for like the afternoon, evening, and then drive back tonight because it makes us practice again tomorrow morning. Um, but oh yeah, we would have gone to the show like Monday night since he has like one day off typically a week. But they they don't they don't have them on Mondays like every other day but Monday. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is, um, I think. I'm gonna come back, shower, get ready, and then go get Max at practice because he will be done at like 12.30. It is 9.51 right now. And I'm only gonna work out for like an hour because I feel like if I stay at the gym, work out, like dawdle around and come get you, then it's just gonna take us way too long to leave for New York because I'm gonna have to get ready and like do my hair and everything. Which I didn't bring any hair things this time. So I guess it's just gonna dry all natural it can dry on the way to new york and i'm so excited for my outfit and my shoes that i got yesterday my new shoes okay we have to coordinate your outfit to go with mine. <laughs> we have to discuss outfit things we'll be back hi big hockey bag that thing is huge all right you guys i had such a good little workout. How do I turn off this car? Hang on. Now, I <clears throat> am going back, because like I told you before, I should shower now, get all ready, then come and get Max. Hopefully I have enough time, it's ready. 11.30, I will get back to his house till 11.45. Shower quick come back get him and I was thinking how if I had enough time I would like stop by Starbucks on the way back to get him and get him his coffee that he loves but he has like a full coffee right here I wonder if he meant to bring this with him oh it's good and he just made this at home I think is it from yesterday I don't think so I don't know this is good so maybe I don't need to get him a coffee because this is like full and it's yummy yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, that gym was like so big. It was way bigger than I thought. It's really fun. I walked uphill. I did some like PT stuff that I haven't done in a while, which is bad, but it always makes my knee feel better. And I still know that my left leg, not is a lot weaker than my right leg, but it's weaker. Like my quad, but specifically my hamstring is like really bad on the left. When I do like a quad stretch, I feel like the bottom part of my leg, like my calf and my shin just kind of flies back down because I have no hamstring strength on my left leg. And I think a part of that is because I had a hamstring graft for my ACL surgery. So I feel like a literally part of my hamstring was like missing and it like grows back and fixes itself. But yeah, honestly, I remember in the beginning when I got my ACL surgery, I feel like the chunk of my hamstring that got taken out almost hurt more than like my knee in the first couple days which is funny but anyway so I was working on that blocked a pill and I don't know if this is like TMI but being in my period you guys just saw when I was in Curacao I like got it and being in my period is like killing my back I always just have like the worst like back pain I guess it's like from cramps like cramps back pain like together and so sometimes you just feel like not working out at all and you literally want to curl up into a tiny little ball but like Walking uphill and then stretching always helps me because it like loosens things up and just like warms up your body. So Yeah Just wanted to say that quick. Maybe I'll make some tea or something. I don't know Okay, let's go home. I was just saying how little time I didn't even show you guys I got already because I left my vlog camera in the car, but I just got Max How is practice? It's good. Guys want to know it's weird. We're in sync 
Max was like, my knee was bothering me today. And so was mine. Yeah. Because I was doing like little PT exercises. I think I might have even told my my vlog. It wasn't like really bothering me. I mean yours is probably worse, like actually like intense, like skating around. Like I was just like walking uphill. But um I don't know. I was thinking today how like I still don't feel like back to normal like 100% like do you ever feel completely the same again because I still feel like when I bend my knee like all the way to my butt it doesn't feel good it doesn't feel like normal like the other one you know but and now we are on our way to Chipotle really quick hopefully it's a better experience than yeah, the other day when I was in there for 50 minutes we will see how that works I have a bad feeling that it's like not even gonna be ready for us but Anyway, um, what I wanted to tell you guys is that I got so many new cute clothes from Nasty Gal and I planned so many of my outfits this week with them. If you guys saw my Instagram story, I got so excited. Like everything that I had on was from Nasty Gal. I got this like cheetah skirt and white like graphic top um, and these black boots that go with it and they're like so adorable. So I'm going to insert the footage right here where I can show you guys all the new clothes I got and trying them on and then after that, Time for Chipotle. All right, ready for the cutest stuff from Nasty Gal ever. I think out of everything I've ever gotten from Nasty Gal, these have got to be my absolute favorite. And I swear the quality hits different. It's improving. It's like better than stuff that I've gotten from before because all of this stuff is so nice. I can't wait to show you. Okay, so the first thing you will see me wearing is this t-shirt and it says, it's all good, baby, baby. I saw it on their website and I was like, that is literally so cute. And I feel like my motto in life and everything I try to exude because it makes me so sad when all my friends are stressed and I just tell everyone, take a deep breath. It's all good, baby, baby. You're where you're supposed to be right now. Everything is going to be okay. Everything has a way of working itself out. Just don't stress and everyone has their own path, their own timeline. So anyway, I just really love this shirt. I love how big and like oversized it is and I just tie it in a little knot as you can see how I'm wearing it right now. But this skirt that is so perfect. The way these mini skirts fit me, you guys, I got three of them because I'm obsessed. They just fit me so perfect. I get a US six in case you are wondering and it fits me like a glove. This mini skirt, this cheetah one that I'm wearing right now is so perfect, perfect. With like the graphic tee, I love it so much. Also, you can see my nipples, but who cares? Nips are in. It's 2019, almost 2020, am I right? We're over it. So. Yes, <laughs> just thought I should say that. I'm like, I'm gonna get comments when my nipples are out, but I like them, okay? Um, no, I love this midi skirt so much. The cheetah midi skirt is still a thing. Isn't that like a thing that everyone says? Like the cheetah midi skirt, I feel like everyone has to have one. Um, so I got another. This reminds me a lot of a nasty gal dress that I have that I wore in Laguna. Do you guys remember? It's literally such a similar print, but it's like a maxi, or is it a midi dress? Anyway. It's very similar to this print. This is like quite similar to this as you can see, but different, like a different color. And this I would say is more leopard. <laughs> Who even knows? Another midi skirt, skirt, so adorable. Based on like whatever color you're going for, this is more of like a nude pinky. This is more of like a brown classic cheetah. You know, you can pick. But their stuff is so affordable, you guys. So. Honestly, this stuff is just like amazing as it is, but I also know I have a code for you Are you ready? Thank you nasty gal by the way first and foremost for working with me on this video because I love their stuff So cute. It's so trendy, but also affordable and I know if you guys use my code at Gretchen 55 You'll get an extra discount on nasty gal. So I'd so recommend and everything I'm gonna be showing you right now link down below check the description in case you're interested Okay Last midi skirt I got is this beautiful, like, wine burgundy color. Again, their midi skirts hit different. They fit me perfect. So flattering. This one's so silky and gorgeous. I love. Then I really knew I wanted some, like, graphic tees with the midi skirt. I'm so into that trend. And my friend, who I follow on Instagram, I love so much, Danny Austin, was showing this on her story the other day. And I was like, I need that. And I went and I got it immediately. It's this... E.T. graphic t-shirt, but I love it again like tied up with the um, midi skirt. It just looks so good. I just love that little look with booties and these booties are my new favorite booties. I literally just got so excited and posted an Instagram story in them because I live in black booties, but these hit different because I keep saying that the platform with the high heel makes it 
so that the heel is really only like that tall they're so easy to walk in so comfortable also i have like weird shaped feet i feel like they're kind of wide so shoes are like always uncomfortable for me or too tight these aren't these are made amazing they're so comfortable and they're easy to walk in because the platform so cute and they look really good with those midi skirts then I'll just show you these because they're very similar style and honestly I don't know how I'm going to wear them yet. Sort of feel like they're go-go boots. They look like go-go boots. But um, I know with like certain outfits they'll be cool. Just you wait and I can't wait to find the perfect time to wear these. I just got them in white. I don't know if they're the exact same style. I think they're different actually because these are more like leather and the other ones are suede. Um, but I love those just as well. And yeah, see these are suede. Okay, then I'm going all over the place. I was really big into shoes. I've been seeing these white chunky sneaker trend shoes everywhere and these with midi skirts and the graphic tees as well look so good. So I just got these chunky little white sneakers. And then, wait, I'm just gonna show you these sweaters really quick because as you saw, I just gave them to Mac so we can match. So I got this red Christmas sweater since we're coming up on the holiday season. I love these ones from Nasty Out. I love the print of them. So cute. They're so soft and cozy. And then I also got it in white because they're matching. I'm literally gonna make Max take a matching photo with me. Then I got this sequiny dress for New Year's. Hello, say less. Like, oh my God. It's so gorgeous. Get ready for a fire Instagram on New Year's. Last but not least, nude heels. Love these ones. Nice to yell quality. So good. Links down below. That is all. I need something fun to give you that I forgot to give you. Nervous. Give me my, my new watch. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna love it. Okay, close your eyes. It's a present for both of us. I whichever one you are, you get from that one. We got matching sweaters! <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely! What do you think? Wait, come up. You can't even see your little self. Tis the season. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun if I was to take a funny photo with oh, We don't have to post it anywhere. But I just thought that these would be fun for the holidays. These are fun for the holidays. Isn't that fun? That's why I picked them out. What happened to Thanksgiving? Because we just skipping I know, over? everyone forgets Thanksgiving this year. But I was just like, me and Max tooling around in these would be really fun. I love. Do you? I think I like the white one. Yeah, I knew you were going to want the white one and I could have red. Oh, right. You like don't like red that much, I feel. Oh, I just love it. <laughs> okay, well that went well. Yay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I get literally so much in my bowl. I get like everything in route to everybody. We are probably like an hour and a half away. And Max is stopping by Starbucks. You got a hot one. Oh, you got a big hot one. Mm -hmm. Can I try it? Yeah. I'll put your sleeve back on. You said I'm gonna like it, right? Yeah, it's really good. Max, venti peppermint mocha. Add whip. Cows. Cows. Oh, there was a baby that had like hay in it. Or grass or whatever. Hay, <laughs> I think it's horses. This is amazing. He knew I would like it. Cause it tastes like hot chocolate. It doesn't even taste yeah. like coffee. Oh my gosh, wait, what is this again? Peppermint mocha? What is mocha bean chocolate? Coffee something. And you add whipped cream on top? Oh my gosh, they have little chocolate things I can see in the home. Like little chocolate flakes. Get this, everybody. Wow, this is my new order. It probably gives you a headache from all the sugar after, but it's good. Sing for us! Sing to me, Guys, we are seriously struggling with parking right now. And maybe it's because we're right in the middle of Times Square. Oh, baby. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, it's 7 o'clock. We gotta go. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, I'm probably gonna get yelled at, but this is sick. This is the coolest thing ever. Isn't this so cool? This is awesome. I literally love it. And we just met the cutest subscriber that works here. And she was like, you wanna go backstage after? And we were like, what? Are you kidding me? I was like, hmm. that was good to me. This is a little set. We've been working with. It is so packed. 
That was so funny, Max. We walked in right before it started, and there was two open seats, and they were like, yeah. there's your seats. Literally, it is so packed. This place is so packed. Oh, Here we go. The lights. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is your king, George the Third. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Wait, same camera. Yeah. Yeah. G7X is everything. Oh, I can't. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. We're backstage at Hamilton on Broadway. Hey guys. Oh, nice to meet you. Oh, so nice to meet you. This is Gretchen. I'm Max. And Max. <laughs> I love this vlog section. I know. Yeah, so me and Jenny vlogged today because we did like a, a sister trip. We did manicures today. It was like a. It was a fun. Talk to you soon. I love that. We like taught a workout class and we like had a nice. We taught a workout class. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh the, this is Are so. You kidding? Can you imagine being up here and looking out at everyone? Like, for now, I think Tim wants us to stay on this side for now, and then we'll like explore. Some power. I don't know. I, think like <laughs> I love that you're vlogging. That's so cute. <laughs> I tell you to remember this yeah. moment. Yeah. It looks great. It's not real. It's not real great. Oh, this is. <laughs> Do I fit in? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is the song that he sings, Max. Oh my gosh, for anyone that's like a big Hamilton fan or like musical, <laughs> I bet people like wish they were here right I'm now. Sure here. <laughs> Not much, Guys, I need to remember this moment because it was so cool. Yeah. Okay, Carrie and Ginny are my new favorite twins. <laughs> they are literally the best. They have a podcast called Twin Talk and I cannot wait to go listen. They're like, we talk about a wide array of things like body confidence, stuff like that. I'm like, ooh girl, that is right in my alley. And they are so freaking sweet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah. And she was just like, oh, want to go backstage? And we were like, huh? And tell them who you saw. Uh, Draco Malfoy. <laughs> What's his Is that his name in here? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't know Harry Potter, so uh, I haven't Tom, seen it. Tommy, Tommy Felton, my Tom good friend. Tom Felton is who they said that was. And I was like, who was that? And I looked up his Instagram and he had like 5 million followers. Yeah. But I don't know who that is, but he was there. And, um... So Carrie works there and she was saying, cause I'm like, oh, you know when like all these famous people are coming? And she was like, oh yeah, Angelina Jolie came the other week with like all her kids and they booked them out a whole row so that they have their security and stuff. But she said <laughs> people like come up to them still. And she was like, same with like Emma Watson. And I got to like escort her. It was like yeah. the coolest thing ever. I'm like, that is so cool. And she just showed us around backstage. And yeah, it was very cool. That was awesome. Like the whole time while we were watching it and we just got to like walk right up after. Yeah. Like, that was so awesome. We got to see all their like props and like the guns they had and the newspapers and their outfits. Uh, I we saw to see the Alexander. Outfit. Oh yeah, we saw Hamilton. Hamilton and we beauties. Saw, um, we saw his son Philip and we saw yeah. Mosby. Mo <laughs> well, he wasn't Mosby. He this looked like uh, Mr. Mosby from, from the, the Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. So we call him Mr. <laughs> Mosby, but he oh he was Aaron Burr. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> And now that we watched that whole thing, I feel like I remember that from history. Because he was like, you know me, as like the villain. Yeah, because he killed him. Spoiler alert. <laughs> oh, he killed Hamilton. So. But it's history, so everyone yeah, knows so it. Yeah, so everybody should know yeah. that. It happened a while ago. Oh, and I was sobbing at the end. It really got to me. Got My really arm's deep. getting tired from holding this thing. This is a hard job. I know. This is what I'm telling you. We're walking to our car. This was the car. Alright, we're gonna reconvene ever. back in the car. Best night ever! <laughs> I'll see you guys, which 
what is really funny is if you see like right here I don't know if you can really see but there's gates mm. because that's the side door of the stage where you like walk right outside and so people wait out there um, for the cast to come out but since we were on the stage we like jumped out there and it was like paparazzi yeah. was like waiting for us and we were like oh no we're just normal that was really funny they were like hi <laughs> And Hamilton was standing there signing. How cool, you guys. Well, this night turned out better than even expected. What didn't you say? That was even better than I thought it was going to be. And I was telling Carrie at the end how I didn't even realize it was a rap musical. Like, if you had told me that before, I'd be like, what? Like, I had no idea. And it started and we were like, what? <laughs> mm. But it was so cool and, like, sad and like happy and like history and like interesting and go if you can go go because that was really awesome oh and it was all deep at the end and i was like in eliza and her little hand and i was like oh my god wow buddy oh okay <laughs> wow <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, nowhere. Oh, nowhere in specific. It's the late nights. This is your favorite. Oh. Do you think you like it the best out of all the fast foods? And whip it around. <laughs> like where we are. Okay, their frosties are like really good. Yeah. <laughs> Literally only you. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. We looked up on my phone, it says it was open. Oh my gosh, it smells like they're fries. It was open till one and it's like 12, 11 a.m. And um, the order thing kept saying, we are closed, we are closed. And we were like, what? So Max pulled up and he was like, sorry, we're short staff, like we're closing. And I was like, got any fries left over for me? And he was like, sure, <laughs> just gave him some fries. <laughs> free! Mm -hmm. They taste even better now that they're free. On the house. On the house. Oh, they're good. Yeah, not bad. Hey, Fundies. Wow, hey, Fundies. That was really nice of you. This will hold me. No Frosty. That's no. okay. <laughs> hey, obviously, it's the next morning. Wow, morning boys in full force right now. <laughs> but I just wanted to reflect and say how grateful I am that we were able to go. And I'm sure you guys know that because I was, like, so hyped last night. It was just so awesome. And grab the little play belt to show you like how cool and the twins I met you guys were literally so sweet if you're watching this and Gary thank you so much for like bringing us backstage like that was so awesome she was saying that she brings her twins her Jenny like backstage a bunch and I can't wait to listen to their podcast and yeah it was just like so special and so fun and I don't know if I got to like say enough about it like in the moment because we just like got right there sat down it started like it was like whoa but it was so awesome and if you guys ever get a chance to see it you should and yeah i had no idea that it was a rap musical i thought it was like a normal play or something and i was like whoa i should have like known more about this because i wanted to see it for so long but it was like so awesome and um Oh, also, you probably saw for literally one second I filmed sushi because Max and I got sushi with his sister Chase right before, which is so awesome. It took us even longer to get in the city than we thought it was gonna, and it took us like 20 minutes to park. Um, so it was kind of like an hour dinner, like rushed, but it was so good to see her, and our sushi was really good. We went to Bluefin in Times Square, if you care, but yes, it's the next morning now. Um, so I'm gonna end off this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next video. Bye.